Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to export your animated banners that you've designed in Figma out to animated WebP image files directly from Figma using the Bannerify plugin. So to get started, all you need to do is just jump into Figma and click on the resources icon in your file up at the top here. So click on resources and then just search for the word Bannerify. So that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y. And if you click on the Bannerify result, you'll be able to then run the plugin by either clicking this run button here. So if you click run, that will open up the plugin, or I'd also recommend clicking on the more options button and then clicking on save plugin. And that's just gonna save the Bannerify plugin to your plugins list so you can access it again easily later. Um, so I've already added it to mine. So I'm just gonna to go to my Figma file and I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go down to plugins and then go to saved plugins. And then I'm just gonna click on Bannerify. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we just installed a minute ago. So to get started, uh, all you need to do is click on any frames that you've got on your page. So if you've got uh, a bunch of frames in different sizes for different size banners, and each of those banners will have layers in them, uh, which are just the content layers of each banner, all you need to do is select the layers or select the banners rather that you wanna uh, export or animate. And then in the plugin, just go down here and click on load checked banners. So I'm just gonna load up a few to get started. And that's just gonna load in the banners that we just selected. So if you're new to the plugin, I'm not gonna be going through in detail how to actually uh, use all the animation features and how to do all these other kind of fancy things. Uh, if you're interested in that, there's a whole bunch of other more detailed tutorials on that uh, on the YouTube channel. If you just go to the Bannerify playlist, you'll be able to find a whole bunch of those. Uh, today, I'm really just gonna be assuming that you've already got the animations set up for your banners the way that you want. And we're just gonna take those banners that you've already designed and export them out to an animated WebP image format. So in this example, I've just got a few banners with some very simple animation on them. Uh, we can preview what that looks like here. And instead of exporting it to HTML or a GIF, uh, today I'm just gonna be exporting it to WebP. So if you go ahead and click on the export to GIF uh, video button up here in the plugin header. So I'm gonna click on that. And then you'll see down here that there's a few different export options. So there's a new one that's now called export WebP and that's exporting it to X Retina. So the benefit of this is you can export this as a WebP, animated WebP image from Figma uh, as opposed to a GIF file, for example. So with a GIF, you're gonna be exporting it at 1x, and with GIFs, there's also the limitation of only being able to include 256 colors. So you always notice that the color palette of a GIF is a little bit washed out and lower kind of resolution or sharpness compared to, let's say, a PNG file. So the benefit of WebP is it allows you to keep that quality, keep that color range, and also export it out in a file format that's much sharper. So to show you what that looks like, all you need to do is click on this export WebP button. So I'm gonna click on that now. And this is gonna go through and export the three banners that I've selected. And it's basically gonna convert each frame into a WebP file. And once it's done that for every frame, it's then gonna take those WebP files and essentially merge them into one WebP file. And you can think of this as kind of like an alternate GIF format. So a GIF is just a collection of frames uh, rendered out into a single GIF file. And the same will happen with these WebP banners. So it's gonna basically create a single file, but inside of that file, there will be many WebP frames uh, that work very similar in a similar way to a GIF file. Um, but as I mentioned, it's gonna allow us to export it with much better quality and it's gonna allow us to export it uh, in a way that's still fairly optimized, but also at 2X resolution. So if you wanna use this for your uh, website or if you wanna use this for a banner campaign and you wanna keep those images looking really sharp uh, as opposed to using a GIF, this is definitely an alternate uh, format that you can use to do that. Um, so we're just on the last one now. It'll take a little while to convert some of these if they're much bigger. I'm using a 24 frames a second animation as well. So it's gonna include a few more frames, uh, but we're on the last one now. So once this is done, you'll get a prompt to say that the banners are ready. And then all you need to do is click on the download your zip file button. And that's just gonna bring up the save prompt. So in this example, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop, click save. 
And then you can see here, I've got the zip file. So I'm just going to double click that to unzip it. And then if we open up the zip file, you can see here that we've got a new folder called WebP. So that's where our WebP uh, image animated WebP files have been exported. And we've also got this index file. So the index file is just a preview page. So I can drag that into my browser. And you can see here that I've got the preview page with all of my animated WebP images that we just exported from Figma showing up. Um, so as you can see, they look really sharp. Um, and if we open up that in a new tab, you can see here they've been exported at 2x resolution. That's retina resolution. So just to give you a really quick comparison of what that looks like compared to a GIF, I'm just going to run this export function again. And this time I'm going to click on export GIF. And while that's exporting, I'm just going to go through the support for the WebP image format as well. Um, so we're just on caniuse.com here and we're looking at the WebP page. And this is just going to give us an overview of what kind of support the image format does have. And as you can see, it's actually got very good support. Uh, basically all the major browsers support this format uh, with the exception of IE, which is now uh, basically dead and isn't supported anymore anyway. So apart from IE, you've got very good support uh, across, across the, uh, the board. So WebP has actually been around for quite a while. It's still not uh, used as often as let's say JPEGs, but uh, WebP is actually a very good format for compressing images and having actually uh, animated WebPs is even kind of a more new idea that hasn't really been done as much uh, compared to GIFs. So this is a pretty good format if you're looking for an, an alternative to GIFs and uh, we'll show you what that looks like compared to those GIFs right now. So I'm just going to download my zip file once again and I'm going to put that on my desktop, double click the zip file to open it. And this time I'm going to load up the GIFs page. So I'm just going to jump into here and drag that onto my browser. And you can see here, it's exported the GIFs pretty much looking the same as what the WebP looks like. But if you actually compare these two, I don't know how obvious it'll be on the video, but if you compare these two, uh, there's a noticeable difference in quality. Uh, the colors don't look as washed out. There's way more sharpness in some of the details of the image. And if we compare those two uh, in the isolated view as well, you can see here, this is just a 1x GIF. Uh, there's a little bit of um, kind of washed out coloring that you can see uh, compared to the WebP. The WebP just looks a little bit more vibrant and you've got that higher resolution as well. Um, so as I said, this is a really good alternative if you are looking for a different option. And if we look at the file sizes, you can see that they're actually quite comparable. So uh, this leaderboard is 2.1 megabytes for the GIF. And if we go to the WebP, uh, that's 3.6. So uh, the quality, you're getting double the resolution, you're getting a much sharper image, and the file size difference is actually pretty negligible. So that's a really good option if you're looking for a GIF alternative. Um, so that's basically it. I just wanted to run through a quick example of how to use this new export feature in Bannerify. So if you've been wanting to export your banners to uh, animated WebP, um, then this is the easiest way to do it uh, in Bannerify. And uh, if you are looking to do that, uh, please feel free to try out the plugin. You can, as I said, go to the resources panel in Figma, or you can click on a link in the description below and that will allow you to get started and start designing banners to then export from Figma to animated web P files. So I hope that's been helpful and thank you as always for watching. We'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.